Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use Deep AI. In order to do so, first off you're going to want to go to deepai.org and once you're there and you're logged in, then you should be met with a page that looks like this. You'll see that you have four major categories to choose from. You can either chat with Deep AI, you can create an image, or you can create a video and you can also create music. So we'll go ahead and just say here for DeepAI, we'll click where it says inspire me. It says create a song similar to Taylor Swift's style. Okay, interesting. We'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll see here that DeepAI will now begin to generate a song that's based on Taylor Swift's style. So this kind of gives you an idea of what it's capable of. You can pretty much chat with anything, uh, chat about anything, uh, but uh, this is just an example to give you an idea of what this is capable of here. Uh, you can copy the text, search the web, summarize, or delete. You can choose for the chat mode, genius, online, or regenerate. The chat history, you can rename that as well. You could delete this chat. You could delete all chat history. You can even chat with different AI characters. So you have the AI drunk friend, if you are looking for something like that. You have the AI comedian, free chat GPT, debate. Some really interesting stuff here. Let's go ahead and click on see more. So yeah, you can see there's a variety of options here. AI writer. So all of this, very powerful. And here at the bottom, you have some more description on what genius mode is, uh, what is online mode. Genius mode is an enhanced version of AI chat that provides more knowledge, fewer errors, improved reasoning skills. It's only available via subscription. However, the added benefits make it a worthwhile investment. So that's something that you might want to take a look at. We'll go ahead and scroll back up to the top here. Actually, we'll just click back on our browser and we'll go ahead and select image. We'll go ahead and try inspire me again. A futuristic city skyline with flying cars and neon lights. Perfect. We'll go ahead and create an image for that. And here we have our example. Pretty interesting. We've got some options here that we could choose from. We can change the styles. If you click here, you can see the various styles that you have access to. And uh, yeah, all of this here is uh, pretty interesting, pretty well laid out and quite intuitive. There's not uh, too much uh, clutter to confuse you and your in your AI exploration. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and choose this one here. Why not? Choose shape. Okay. Go with that aspect ratio. And let's see here. Okay. And then when we're done, we can click generate here. And there you go. We've got ourselves a pretty cool looking image. I think that's quite neat. Uh, I'll go ahead and save that because I think that looks kind of cool. And we'll go ahead and go back here and take a look now at the next option, which is video. Now, video tends to take more time in order to generate, so we're not sure how long we'll wait for this. But essentially, like most things, you're going to want to enter in whatever your prompt is and you want to make sure that your instructions are as clear as possible. We'll go ahead and click Inspire Me. A dog juggling three colorful balls in a park. Okay, we'll go ahead and make the video on that. So that is thinking about it now. It looks like it's going pretty quick. So we can probably just scroll down here a bit and down here you can see some of the community videos other people have created, some kind of wacky stuff here. And uh, we can scroll down. Got some cool stuff here. Got a cool little mouse dancing around. 
So here's some some interesting examples of what this is capable of. Um, here we go. We have our result here. So as it is with most AI video generators, the text to video, uh, sometimes it has pretty cool results and other times it's interesting and you know, you just kind of move on if it's uh, not exactly what you're looking for. We'll go ahead and take a look at music now. So we'll go ahead and describe a song you want to compose. We'll go ahead and choose Inspire Me. Modern Country Acoustic Guitar. Okay, why not? We'll go ahead and click Generate Music on that. Give that just a moment there. We'll see how long this takes. If it takes too long, then maybe we uh, will just... Oh, there we go. So that's pretty cool. It's not too bad. I think the quality of that doesn't sound too shabby. That might be something that you can use for a video or something, some background music, something like that. We'll go ahead and stop there. That's all there is for now. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more helpful tips.